recording. So again, the recording has started. And so what you should see is my desktop here. Uh, I'm going to go over for a second and again show you um, the quick guide. Tonight is about managing your, e your inbox. Um, so again, under my courses and quick guides, this is where they're all housed. Um, again, they are always going to be here as we revise them. We'll update them. But this is about managing your inbox right now. And what I want to talk to you about is, you know, the email tool. We know that email is extremely, extremely important um, when you're teaching, whether it's a face-to-face -face class or online. What I will tell you is that the email tool in my courses in D2L is the Achilles heel of this program. It is not the best tool. And somebody's got to stop asking to get permission. All right. It is, it is honestly, it is not the best tool. Uh, and, and Nicholas, I'm, I'm sorry you can't hear me. Uh, I don't know why. Um, we're going to try to figure this out. Hazel, you can't hear. I may sign out and try again. Uh, and uh, no, Nicholas, I'm not going to give you control <laughs> of the desktop. Um, um, I'll, I'm going to be talking that hopefully maybe we will we'll get a, a, a different program, but in the first couple weeks. Right now, at least, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be um, uh, doing this through this, and at least I'll be recording it. So again, I'll send you an email for the recording. So again, the email tool is really important. Um, the email tool is very different, and this is the rationale that I want to talk about in my courses. The email tool is not course specific like it is in Angel. It is, um, it keeps all of your email in one inbox. So keeping your inbox clean and keeping it organized is going to be real important for you uh, because one of the other things that happens with my courses is that your courses will not disappear for like five or six years. And so there, your inbox could get really overwhelming. And if you need to look back on an email from a student uh, because of a uh, complaint or a student has a question and you want to look back at what the student asked, if again, you don't keep your inbox clean and organized, it's going to be a problem. So what I want to show you tonight is my idea, and I think some other faculty have thought of this too, of how to manage your inbox in the email tool so that you can create certain folders and move emails into those folders so you can find them later. So I'm going to show you my demo account and then I'll log in as my actual uh, SPC account, my, my faculty account, to show you that my inbox, what my inbox looks like. So I'm going to go here and the first thing you have to do is to start creating a folder structure. And again, this is just my idea of how to do it. Um, again, you could think about you know, your own way. But what you need to do is you click on the icon, the mail alert icon in the mini bar, which is right here. And you click on the go to email link. This is going to take you into your email and you'll see that I have some emails in my inbox sitting here. Some I have read, some I haven't. You'll notice the folder list here is just set up the way it is. But what I want to do is click on folder management. And I'm going to click on new folder. And what I want to do is I want to create a top level folder that's going to be for the semester. So I'm going to use the semester code 0490 and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And you'll notice right here that a folder does get added with that semester code. Now what I want to do is add all of the classes that I'm teaching inside of that folder. So I'm going to click on the new folder again. 
And let's say I'm teaching, um, and this is just my naming structure, but you can choose your own. I just think this makes sense. I'm going to choose CGS 1100, which is what I teach, and then I'm going to choose the class number. And then this is real important, is click on where it says parent folder and click on, I'm sorry, not inbox, you click on 0490. So this is going to create this folder inside of this folder. And I click save, and now you'll notice the little plus sign, and you'll see that the folder has been added. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do another new folder, and maybe I teach a second section. And again, I'm going to put that underneath the parent folder. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And you get to see how my, my folders get built out. And so what I want to do is do that for every single class that I'm teaching for this particular semester. So that's the first step in the process. The next pro step is moving your email messages into the folder. So I'm going to click on the messages again. And let's say, you know, this message I read and this message I read, I just simply checkbox those. And on the move to, I simply click and I move them into that folder. So that way, if those two emails came from those students in that class, if I need to go back and try to refer to those, I can just simply click on the folder and now I can see all the emails just for that class and I can search inside of that folder and it really helps to keep things organized. The second way and what I do is let's say that you know I have a new email so this is a brand new email that came in from Ned Stark and I want to go ahead and read that email so you click on the actual subject to read the email and I read the email right here and I go ahead and reply. So this is my way of work. I go ahead and reply. And in the body of the message, I type in, hello, you know, what is the problem? And I go ahead and send that message to Ned. Now, what I want to do before I leave and click close, I then choose where it says move to, and I put that into the folder that that came from and I go ahead and click close. So I'll go ahead and do that again. So let's say here's Ned, here's the email. Come on Ned, let me get it again. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened is, I'm sorry, you'll see that it appears that Ned's email is still there even though I did move it into the folder. So I could either refresh or simply go to the next uh, email and go ahead and reply to that student and click send on that and again what I like to do at the same instance I'm gonna go ahead and move that and I'll know that that is in that specific class because it'll be in the subject line here so that ID of the course will be here so that's how I know which which email or which class it goes to and I'll go ahead and click in there and when I click close you'll notice that Ned's email now is gone because it has been moved. If I click refresh, which I can do, that email that I just had in there um, will now be in that specific folder. So let's say now it's next semester. What do I want to do? So again, with next semester, I'm going to go ahead and do the same process. I click on the folder management and I click on new folder and now I'll choose 0495 and again I'm in this case I'm not going to choose a parent folder because I want it to sit in the folder list and I go ahead and click save and now I do new folder and maybe I'm teaching BSC I'm a versatile instructor BSC L 1 2 3 4 and again I'm gonna go ahead and put that inside of that so it's nested inside of there so you can see that what's gonna happen if I go back to my folder list, eventually what I want to do is clean out my inbox. I want to keep my inbox clean and fresh so that if I need to go and look for a student's uh, email, I can find that email and I can find it quickly because I can immediately go into that class, into that section, and again I can do a search and it'll just search in that folder and I can find that student's email. So. 
this is, in my opinion, is extremely important when it comes to the way that the email is in this system. Because again, the email in D2L is global. So unless you keep things clean and fresh looking, um, your inbox can be an absolute, absolute mess. Are there any questions that anybody has? Either through, if you heard me, hopefully. <laughs> if not, again, you'll get this in a in an e in a in a in an email for the recording. Try to unmute everybody. Anybody? If you had any questions. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I I was muted, so I I do have a question. When when the emails are coming into you, uh, how do you Let's say you're teaching four different labs. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the semester, you haven't really identified the name of the student with the, which lab they're in. So how yeah. are you going to know, without sitting and looking up in a roster, how are you going to know yeah. which folder to put it in? That's because when, and I'll show you when I get to my actual class, you'll see when, when any, whenever you compose an email, uh, not here, it's not a good example, because um, I'm not in a course. Let it's me have an identifier attached to it. Well, no. Well, yeah, what's going to happen is, um, let me just go to a course here. I'll go to communication and email, and now I'm in a course. And if I compose an email from in a course, you'll notice this little identifier. That's going to show up with your class name, your class number. Got it. Um, that's dynamically there. Now, can the students delete that? Yes. Uh, do they? No, they don't. That is the only way. That you know, unless you, like you said, Jabe, unless you really try to know which students are which, um, you know. But that's your identifier. Got it. Um, okay. You know, so so, but you can set up the folder structure beforehand, um, and then if you want, you can actually move these up and down. So let me let me just go ahead and I'm going to log out and log in with my actual faculty account. And I'm going to go ahead up to the email, and you'll notice my inbox is clean. And you'll see I have my emails from last semester right here, and this is my emails from this semester. So I taught a, a one eight-week class, and this is my this is my class I'm teaching now. So you'll see right here, here's my identifier for the students. My class is merged, uh, but my this class wasn't merged, and you'll see there's the identifier for this class. So in the subject, this is right there. This offering is because O R F offering O F R underscore C G S eleven hundred, and then there's the nineteen fifty eight. So that's how I can identify which class this is coming from, and then I okay. can easily move them into the appropriate space. Got it. Um, okay. Very it's good. It, it's real important. This 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 tool is. You know, now the the issue I will say is with the sent mail, mail I don't move that. Uh, so you'll see I have actually 22 pages of of uh, 20 question, 20 emails, going back, you know, to the, my last semester. Um, if you want to get crazy and you want to try to organize your sent email, uh, I know that a vet tech faculty um, does that, but that's that just goes that's just a little crazy in my opinion so I don't do that and I can just do a search for that but keeping the inbox clean I think is real important um, just a, a couple other things and then I'll, I'll let you all go and again um, I'm sorry if this link is not working the way it's supposed to <laughs> um, I'll be talking to my boss again tomorrow and and reporting on on link and hopefully we'll get something that's going to work better in the in the in the future. Unfortunately, for the next couple of weeks, this is how these webinars are going to go. Um, but just a couple of alternative uses people you may not have thought about in using the email. You know, one of the things that I do. Um, so again, I'm teaching my class and I just did this. So I have a weekly announcement that I send my to, that I put up in my class. I then copy this and I actually send that as an email to my students. Um, and the reason I do that is, since I teach online, is, is that 
um, these the students sometimes will not you know they'll look here they may not see and they may not see this and they go into the email and they get to see the email so I give them different ways of getting to see uh, the things a another thing you may think about is if you have students asking the same question over and over again um, instead of um, instead of um, answering each one individually you know make up a like an FAQ type question and put it into an email to the all of the students so that they can they get it so those are just a couple alternative uses of the email the email tool um, again these quick guide these webinars are meant to be short and sweet um, hopefully again we'll get some software that's going to work better for everybody uh, but at least I have this recorded and I'll put this recording up um, and again I just can't um, I cannot specify the importance of, of keeping a clean inbox and keeping things organized um, so again this recording will be up the quick guides are available to you um, any other last questions that anybody has um, Alan how come you don't do the sent mail why don't you do that too <laughs> It's just too much. Is that what you said? Yeah, from it's from me. I, it, yeah. Okay. Me, right. it, it, it's it's just too much. Um, you know, I guess because you know, when you look at the the emails that come, you know, if I have to see kind of what's what's been said. So, for example, um, let me see if I can find one. Here's one that I that I kind of respond that she responded to. So you'll see the whole thread of my email is here. So here's here's the student who wrote she was having trouble. Here's my response to her, and then here's here's what she just wrote uh, tonight. And then if I responded back to her, it would be in this mess in this message string. Okay. All right. Okay. Got it. Thank you. you know? So if it's just one email that I'm sending out to every student, then 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 maybe I can look through it. But you can search for the emails, and and the searching for emails you can look for both. Um, keywords that are in the body the subject and the from also okay thank you yeah I, uh, if but if you want to go ahead and try and organize those again I have a there's a vet tech faculty I work with who he just he that was his big deal his big thing and he he goes ahead and he organizes that as he sends emails he puts those into the folders too and so you know you could do that you know I, I, I don't know for me it's a little extra work I okay. my my opinion Okay. All right. All right. Any last questions before we go? And again, there'll be I'm I'm doing two other quick guides.